Good morning, chapter 9, lesson 2. Oops, is on page 408. Let's turn this back to black. And number 17 says, let's make a graph. We're doing some compound sentences. Let's just review really quickly, though. We're either going to have conjunctions or disjunctions today. Uh, easiest way to do it is as we had in the blackboard, or whiteboard, sorry. A conjunction has the word and, okay, so that's going to be like the intersection. And the conjunction with the and is going to be everything in the number line in between the two points that we're talking about. Everything in between. So it's the intersection. It's everything that is between those two values. The opposite of a conjunction is the disjunction. And the disjunction always has an or with it. And the disjunction where the or is on the outside of those two points. So the conjunction is everything that lies in between the two points. The disjunction is everything that lies outside of those two points. So that's the difference. Uh, everything outside, everything on the inside. Number 17 says, uh, let's make a graph of this disjunction. And number 17 already calls it out as a disjunction. And we know that it's true because we have the or. So we're going to make our graph on the number line. This obviously is going to be neg oops. This obviously is going to be the negative one point here, and x is going to be two, and a two is going to be over here. And we remember the difference between the two circles. I guess I should put that up here too. This stands for less than or greater than, and then the filled in circle would be for the greater than or equal to or the less than or equal to. So those are the rules we're going to be used. Open circle, greater than, less than, closed circle, it includes those points, so greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. So this starts us off and it says x is less than negative 1, okay, open circle, and we're going to be less than negative 1, so it's going to head on out this way. So it's everything out here on this side. Con disjunction right here, disjunction. X is greater than 2, again an open circle. It's got to be larger than that, so we're going to head off in this direction. And it's everything starting as close to 2 as possible and continuing in the positive direction. So there's our graph for this disjunction. X is less than negative 1, or X is greater than 2. Number 49 gives us this interesting picture. It has something starting at 2 going to the negative direction but it does not include negative 3. So it continues in the negative direction forever and ever, but it does not include negative 3. So I think by looking at this, it's not so much an or, but it has to be everything less than negative 2. I'm sorry, x. everything less than positive 2, and it can't be a negative 3. So if we had to write this in language arts, it would be, x is less than 2, and x can't be equal to negative 3. So that would be the way we would write this. We could get fancy, and we could do this. x is such that squiggly brackets. x has to be less than 2, and x cannot be equal to 3. So there would be our solution. That's it for today. We'll see you all tomorrow.